Uh, tonight we're speaking with Death Dealer drummer um, Steve Bol Bolness. Am I pronouncing your name right, Steve? Yeah, Bolness. Bolness. Uh, okay, and, and of course, um, like I said, you're a drummer these days and um, Death Dealer. And um, I know, well, I know you're not an original member of a band. I was curious. Um, how did you hook up with these guys? Uh, mutual friend uh, recommended me looking for a drummer. Okay, and of course, you know. You're in a band with some uh, pretty big um, name players. You, of course, play along uh, with Sean Peck, Mike Davis, um, Stu Marshall, and Ross Abasso. Um, kind of being the new guy in the band, I was curious, could you tell us a little bit about uh, what you did uh, prior to uh, Death Dealer? Um, yeah, lots of stuff, but um, I started out with Ross Abasso and Mike Davis, and then um, we started to play together with Sean Peck. Okay. Uh, actually, yeah. before uh, Into Eternity, I was also in a band called Beyond the Embrace, which was a metal, metal blade uh, band. Uh, they, they haven't been around in a while, but they're the three bands that I spent some time touring with. Okay, so um, are you originally from Canada? No, I'm from Boston. Boston, okay, okay. And um, now let me ask you, how old were you when you first started uh, playing the drums? I was about 13. And um, I would like to ask people, um, what made you pick the drums as um, your instrument of choice? Uh, well, every, everyone in like the seventh grade was starting the band, so uh, everyone had already decided what instruments they were going to play, and no one had uh, signed up for drums. And I guess I used to just bang on the desk a lot, so they assumed that I could handle that. So I said, yeah, I'll play the drums. And then, um, and then I guess, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I had to figure out a way to get a kit. It was probably uh, a year after that that I started actually taking up money and got a kit. Because I had started taking lessons when I had nothing to practice on except for pillows, you know? So oh. I was taking lessons, but I had no drum set to practice on. So we were just working on, you know, hand movements and stuff like that. And so that must have been a pretty big deal once you got your first kit. Well, um, what memories do you have of that, you know, getting your first kit and beating on the you know actual drum set for the first time? Yeah, I remember. Yeah, I remember those. Yeah, that, that he had. So, uh, wow. I remember. I remember buying it from a metalhead, and because uh, I was I was into those bands at that time too, you know. What? So yeah. that was it. You know, we got that. I had that for a few years, and then we got something else. Wow. Yeah, you, you remember back in the day when they had those magazines? You know, um, uh, these days all they pretty much have is um, all you can pretty much find on the newsstands like Guitar World magazine and. Um, so you know, um, go, that's that's going back away. So let me ask you, um, what's it like to play in a band with um, guys like, um, you know, Ross Abbas? He's probably the most known of the whole group. You know, legendary uh, guy from Manowar. Were you much of a Manowar fan growing up? I, I, I when I when I first heard them, I, I, I was a fan of Avenged Sevenfold. Uh, I didn't know the legendary band that they were at the time. I just knew them as Manowar. And that, uh, And of course, you said you know you've, you've done some bands uh, prior to Death Dealer, so you know um, you got you you're just as experienced as the rest of the guys. But let me ask you, um, what's it feel like to 
you know, being a, bl a band with uh, musicians that have, you know, reached that level, I mean, it must be a great feeling to feel like, you know, you've ca finally kind of arrived, if you know what I mean. And of course, of course, uh, Def Dealer, I know, is putting the finishing touches on their second album. And of course, this is your first album um, with these guys. But I was curious, um, uh, you said you, you kind of got hooked up with the band through a uh, mutual friend. Did you have to audition for the band or did you kind of just get the gig through uh, being recommended? And so, like, um, once you joined the band, um, did it take you long to learn the older material, you know, like, from the, that appears on the debut album? Well, there's only one album, so, um, so no, I guess not too long. <laughs> and, um, now, what was it like to be part of this, um, you know, new album? Because I understand, um, one of the things you guys are getting ready to do is, um, I think in March or April, I was told, um, you guys are going to be opening up for the Metal All-Stars tour. And so is there going to be much uh, rehearsing going into that? Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. I don't know what we have for time. Hopefully everyone uh, just does their homework and we'll put it together when we, when we see each other. Okay, okay. And um, I was curious, um, growing up, who were the drummers that, you know, influenced you that made you want to pick up the sticks and um, take a shot at uh, being a drummer? That's great. Now, um, talk a little bit about the new album you guys are making. Uh, I, I mean, I, from what I understand, um, a lot of it's already been recorded. Is there much left to um, uh, put together? Like, um, like when you guys record, uh, typically don't aren't the drums the first thing, or um, um, or how does how does that work in Death Dealer? So let me ask you, Steve, what, what do you remember from your um, very first show you guys uh, did together, you know, um, once you joined up with these guys? Which 
Well, I, I like, um, talk a little bit about your first show you ever did with Death Dealer. I mean, that must have been like, um, you know, one of the um, greatest moments in your life, if you know what I mean. I haven't done my first show with Death Dealer. Oh, really? Oh, okay, okay, because um, cause I thought you guys had done um, some shows in Hollywood recently. Okay, okay, so um, now let me ask you, like, um, it, it, in um, reference to playing the older material, you know, from a debut album, um, are you kind of um, allowed the freedom, kind of put your own spin on the tunes, or um, you were, were you kind of told to, well, kind of play those tracks the way Rhino played on them? No, they're, 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 pretty, uh, they're pretty encouraging to kind of, you know, you know, play the way they played it, and they were I understand, um, you know, the other guys all got other projects going on in addition to Death Dealer. I was curious, um, do you have anything else you're currently involved in that you'd like to talk about? No, no. And so um, when, you're not, um, when you're not performing with Death Dealer, like, um, do you have a regular 9-to-5 job or um, what do you do outside of the band? Oh, so so you teach um you teach music uh, as far as um, drumming to other uh, people, huh? Yeah. And, and how do you get how do you get most of your students? Like um, people hook up with you through the internet or. Um, um yeah, I guess um, just word of mouth references. You know, I um yeah, how am And that must, that must be a great uh, feeling, you know, um, being able to teach other people, you know, um, kind of your craft and how to play music. I mean, um, what's that like for you, you know, seeing it from the other end? Yeah, I love it. I love teaching. Uh, I've been doing it for a while. Um, I still take lessons, but I still don't do it as much as I used to. Uh, but I think it's a great And typically, and, and, yeah. and I just, you know, uh, I took a million lessons, and some people helped me out. Uh, it took me a while to really get the hang of it, so I want my natural by no means. So I think it just helps uh, in, in me explaining things to uh, another student in a, in a kind of clear way. And like when people come to you take lessons, um, do you, do, you know, they typically come to you telling you, hey, I'd like to learn how to play these songs, or do you kind of just um, teach them more technique and, you know, this is how you. This is how you play the drums. This is what you got to do. And um, what's the usual, um, you know, teaching method? I just tell them to bang it out until something sounds good. No, it's um, no. They don't come to me learning, wanting to learn how to play any specific songs. Usually, that that's kind of like uh, that's uh, I don't know. I I kind of give them the material that will help them play thousands of songs instead of just one song a week. <laughs> You know. Yeah, and and I was curious. Um, would you ever be interested in doing like um, drum type clinics, or even like putting out an instructional um, video or anything like that? Uh, I've done some clinics. You know, there's a million instructional videos out there already. I don't think I need to do one. Yeah, really. I don't. You know. Um, whatever. You know. I hear. I hear you. And so, um, 
what are you looking forward to the most? I mean, you guys got the Metal All Stars tour coming up. You got the, and I understand the new album's probably going to be out in the summer. Is that correct? Hopefully, yeah. And um, so, um, once you guys get done with the Metal All Star tours, you, you guys um, plan on tour in other parts of the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, are you in, are you endorsed by anybody? Are you playing any specific um, you know, set of drums? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm with Pearl Drums, uh, Sleeping Symbols, Axis makes my um, bass drum panels, and Vic for uh, on the drumsticks that I play. Okay, well, um, it's been great talking to you, Steve. Is there anything else you'd like to say before um, we let you go? Okay, well, um, once again, thanks, Steve. Um, we'll be looking forward to the new um, Death Dealer um, CD when it gets released this summer and seeing you guys on the road. So um, much luck with that. And, um, you know, keep my contact info. And um, anytime you want to do this, uh, um, feel free, um, you know, to get in touch with me. Um, and, again, this interview will be going up sometime in March. I'll let um, your publicist, Benjamin, know the minute it goes up. Oh, great. Appreciate it. Okay, take care, my friends. It's been great talking to you. Bye-bye.